Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use grid area without creating an area template. Oh, interesting. Grid area property you learned in the last challenge can be used in another way. If, if your grid doesn't have an area, areas template to reference, you can create an area on the fly for an item to be placed like this. Grid area one, one, two, four. Interesting. This is using the line numbers you learned about earlier to define where the area for this item will be. The numbers in this example above, in the example above represent these values. So it represents horizontal line to start at, vertical line to start at, horizontal line to end at, vertical line to end at. Wow. That's as clear as mud. Okay, got it. So the item in the example will consume the rows between line one and two. Horizontal line to end at. So between one and two, and the columns between one and four. So using this funky grid area layout, Using this grid area property, place the element with item five class between the third and fourth horizontal lines and between the first and fourth vertical lines. So item five is this guy, and we wanna use grid area, and we're going to say um, one slash one slash two slash four. And this means that it starts at the first one and it ends at the second one. So it starts at the first, ends at the second, and then it starts at the first and ends at the fourth. And uh, I think that this should pass our tests. Looks like I got it wrong. Should have a class grid area property such that it is between the third and fourth horizontal line. Oh, the third and fourth horizontal line. Between the third and fourth and between the first and the fourth vertical line. Okay, so it wanted it like this rather than like that. Oh, it wants it to be on th between the third and the fourth. Place the item five between the third and the fourth horizontal lines and between the first and the fourth. First, fourth, vertical. Oh, okay, yeah, so we're basically just replacing. This is doing what we were doing with the footer in previous examples. Uh, interesting. So we start at the third, and we go to the fourth. So one, two, three. So it starts here, so that just means that horizontally, it's at the boss bottom of the page, and then vertically, it goes from one all the way to the four. One, two, three, four. Hmm, interesting. Okay, very cool. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.